nervous signs, including trembling wings and heads, and twisting of the neck partial paralysis of wings and legs, birds may fall over on landing and be unable to feed, unusually wet and liquidy feces, diarrhea, that are often greenish in color quietness, loss of appetite and reluctance to move the disease is very contagious so it is common for most of the pigeons sharing a loft to display clinical signs at the same time. How paramyxovirus is spread The disease is spread by direct contact between pigeons and through. Pigeon transporters that have not been adequately cleaned and disinfected drinking water in lofts and transporters pigeon fanciers carrying infection on their clothes, hands and feet The disease can be introduced to a loft of kept pigeons through contact with wild pigeons. Preventing and controlling paramyxovirus infection in pigeons You can help prevent the disease by Vaccinating your pigeons against the disease, talk to your vet for advice, if you run pigeon shows or races, you must ensure any bird taking part has been vaccinated practicing strict biosecurity on your premises. If you organize a pigeon show or race you must make sure only vaccinated pigeons take part. If you own racing pigeons, you must keep a record of every show or race each bird takes part in. Primary Vaccination Hi there, first off a little disclaimer, I'm not a veterinarian, I don't now the symptoms can be so severe that are hit. The natural treatment for twisted neck will be vitamin E selenium and sink twice a day for seven days. Make sure that the birds eat even if you have to hand feed the bird and add electrolytes with the water every other day.